Now, before we jump into this third potential source of error, let's talk about a better way to do trigonometry. It's nice to put ourselves in Eratosthenes' shoes, but computers are nice too and can save us quite a bit of time. So far, the way we've been doing trigonometry is, let's say we wanted to calculate the cosine of 44 degrees. We'd find our angle in our trig table, and we could read off that the cosine of 44 degrees equals 0.719. That works. What if I want to know the cosine of 44.1279 degrees? Well, maybe I'd find a really good trig table, but it would be a pain to use, and we're living in the 21st century. Let's get computers to do this work for us. So I want you to go to Google and type in the following. Cos, open parentheses, 44 degrees, close parentheses. Go ahead and do that, and then enter in here what Google tells you to all maybe seven decimal places. 